Uh, it seemed from uh, when Lou would talk, especially about you, um, <laughs> most of the stories that came from Chicken Hawk was in the trip. Was the um, there was one when you burnt the clutch out of one of his trucks? Well, we weren't driving at that time, in all fairness. <laughs> yeah. And it wasn't the clutch. It was, well, it was his, what was his, his suburban. And him and Dave had a meeting at York Barbell, and they were left me in the in the truck. And it was fucking hot. So I turned the, the key, thinking, oh, I'll sit with the air conditioning on. Yeah. Well, I didn't turn the key enough, and blew the truck up that now that that story's true <laughs> and i was like oh shit lou's gonna kill me but in true lou just said god damn chicken hawk yeah. and we went and got the went to like uh got the oil change and, and stuff and it, it, we made it home okay did it was you, a good meet do you drive a truck off a ramp too I may have. I, was that, I think it was that York because there looked like a hill and you went up over it. I've heard that story. I've heard the story of you turning off the camera. I've heard of you breaking the Oh, monolith. motherfucker. I did not turn that camera off. That was Lou. He said, Chicken Hawk, you stay away from that camera. I didn't go near that camera. I didn't turn the camera off. That was Lou. What, they, was, <laughs> according to him, that they're like 13 or 14 sets in. They come back and they go to edit the video and there's no file there. <laughs> Um, well, there was one time when they were, we were videoing a, uh, squat, squat day and he was sending the tape to, I think it was Alabama or I, I, video data probably. Uh, so we were in the background, you hear my voice, come on, motherfucker, you <laughs> fucking cocksucker. And then we'd be throwing twenties on the box, seeing if they'd get it. And then we took, took it back to Lou's house to walk. To watch it he's like there's no way in hell i can send this with everything that's going on so that yeah that happened um is there any trips that are in your memory like oh that was that was fun they were all fun to, in their own way but the one time we went down to a bench meet to orlando oh, yeah. and yeah. George, George, there's a couple guys from West Side. I think Kenny, George, were benching, and a hurricane was coming in. And Tony Ramos was already down there. He picks us up at the airport and said, I don't know if this meet's going to get in because there's, like, it was just nothing but wind and rain. And right in the middle of the bench meet, because it was a, like an Orlando City, and the police came in and said, there's a hurricane coming. We're shutting this down. It's being used as a hurricane oh, shelter. Uh, shelter. And so they said, everyone out. And then the meat director said, can't we just finish up the meat? And they, no, get out or we're going to arrest you. So we drove back in the rain from Orlando to Columbus with Tony Ramos, his daughter, um, Drex was in it. Who else? Louie. There were some other people too, and I can't remember. And we were following George Helbert and Fred Bolt back. And I may have said, I forgot that Tony <laughs> Ramos's <laughs> daughter was in the car. And I may have said one or two things that she's probably still getting counseling for <laughs> today. The one addition Louis gave, because what people I don't think understand is when you're a part of West Side, people know you by whatever nickname no mm -hmm. idea who you are and really have no idea about your life a whole lot they just know you coming in mm -hmm. and um <laughs> he was like when you're talking um you said that you have a college degree and he goes you went to college <laughs> and he's like yeah after guy with the marines he's like you, you were in the marines <laughs> yeah and uh, he was like, that's when i found out more about chicken hawk yeah <laughs> you have a girlfriend you, you're married <laughs> yeah. what yeah, cause, well, that was the funny part about Lou. Like, he didn't care yeah. about your personal life. As long as you can, you contributed to the club, make getting strong, making progress, getting your elite, getting records. He didn't care what you did. You could be a fucking serial killer. Yeah. But you had to contribute. If you didn't contribute, you're out. But, yeah, it was one of the drives out to a meet where I'm like, well, I remember when I was in college. You were into college? Like, <laughs> I'm here like, yeah. And 
well, when did you go to college? Like, after I got in the Marines. You're in the Marines? And then I'm here like, yeah. Well, what what else do you do? He said, do you work or anything? I said, kind of. <laughs> and he's here like, <laughs> so, like, he really didn't care about your personal life. Yeah. Like, he would talk to you about training, and that was it. And then Zulu and I got to know each other. Yeah. Three years and 